Hello, back again. Just going to show you a quick method of installing Open Media Vault, which has also got Plex installed. The thing I've done, I've uh, made a clean install of Open Media Vault with Plex and then, then uh, imaged my SD card. Right, so the first thing I want to do is download the image. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Let it load. That's what you want to do. Up in the top right, click download. And then uh, download anyway. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel that. And just close down Google Chrome. Close. Just go into my uh, downloads. And the thing you want to do is right click on it and unzip. So I'm going to extract, extract to. Doesn't take too long to do. And that's done. Just check and there's the image, the image file. I'll just close that down. Right, I'm just going to start up a bit of a software called Etcher. Thing is now you can plug in your SD card into your PC. Right, thing we're going to do now is select image. Uh, go into my downloads, uh, Plex install, uh, double click, just check, it's, uh, it's going to write to H, which is my SD card, and then I'm going to click flash. Doesn't take too long to write the image, but I'll most probably uh, fast forward through this part once it starts going. Right, that's all done. Now you can plug the uh, SD card into your Raspberry Pi. So I'll just close that down. So that's the first step done. Now your Raspberry Pi is started, we need to change one setting and we're going to be using a bit of software called Putty, which is free. Let me just start it. And the thing is now we need to use the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. You can find this by looking in your router settings or you can use a bit of software called Advanced IP Scanner which will scan your network and show the uh, IP addresses of all your devices. So I'm going to type in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi which is 192.168.1.142 and if you need to save it you can uh, give it a name and click save if you need to use it again. So I'm going to click open I'll just move this to the center and it's the default login of Pi and then a Raspberry. Click enter. You can change the password if you need to. Right, we need to change one setting to expand the SD card so you can use any size SD card you want. And the command you need is a sudo raspi config so I'm going to click enter and we need advanced options which is 7 and then click enter and we want A1 which expand file system which is the top one so I'm going to click enter and click enter again for OK and then click right on your keyboard and right again on finish and then click enter again and your Raspberry Pi is going to reboot. Click enter. That's just your Raspberry Pi restarting again and it's going to uh, expand so you can use the whole of the SD card. Click OK and you can shut that down now. Right, after a minute or two uh, the SD card should be expanded. So it uses the whole space. 
So now we can uh, log into Open Media Vault. So I'll just start Google Chrome. And the same again in the address bar. You want to type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So I'll go 192.168.1.142. And it should come up. And username is admin and the password is open media vault. So I'm just gonna log in. Yep, that's all up and running. Right, thing we need to do now is mount uh, the drive or drives you're using. So the first thing you wanna do on the left, under storage, you've got file systems. So just click on that, left click. And there's my external storage, which is a sand disk. So I'm gonna left click on it to highlight it, and then I wanna mount it. So on the top row there, you've got mount. So just click on that. Give it a few seconds. And you want to click apply and then yes just give it a few seconds to uh, apply configuration Right, and uh, that's done. Now we're going to sort out the shared folders. So on the left hand side again, but this time under access rights management, you got shared folders. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to give it a name. You can name it anything you like. So I'm going to call it movies. Now we're going to select the device you just mounted. Mine's the sand disk. And just click on the right there. And on movies, that's a folder already on the drive. Click OK. And then on permissions in the drop down, I'm going to select to everyone can read and write. And then click save. And then apply again and then yes right that part's done you can add as many folders as you like I've just got the one but if you've got more you can just add them in there right now we're going to set up Samba share so under services, you got uh, SMB, which is Samba. So click on that. You want to go into shares. You want add. And now we want to uh, select a shared folder. So in the drop down, we've got the sand disk. Uh, under public, I'm going to set guests allowed. Then I click uh, click save, and then apply again, and then yes. Right, now go back into settings on the left, next to shares, and now we're enable the shares. So just click on the right to turn it on, and then click save. Then apply, and then yes again.
Right, so that's uh, Open Media Vault all done now. We can go on to the uh, Plex server. So I can close that down now. Uh, click Leave. So that part's all done. Right, now let's uh, log into the Plex server. So I'll start up Google Chrome. And this time, it's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi again. 192.168.1.142. And then it's colon. And then, on, let me remember, uh, 32400. And then click enter. And that's uh, Plex starting up for the first time. So you want to click got it. You can close that by clicking the X. You can give it a name. I'm just going to call it Test Plex. It's up to you if you want to allow media outside your home, but I always untick it. It's entirely up to you. And then click Next. And now we want to add library. I've got films on my uh, external drive. So I click Films, I'm going to click Next, and then I'm going to Browse for Media Folder. Just scroll on the left, and there's my Sand Disk. Just scroll back up, and there's my Movies. And there's the Movies I've got on the drive. So I'll just click Add, and then Add Library. If you've got other libraries like TV, just click Add again, and you can add them in. Just do exactly the same. Just depending if you've got movies or TV folders. So I'm just going to click next. And then done. I'll just find my Plex test. There's the movies on my hard drive. I'll do this in real time because it won't take too long to do a few movies. Going to films. And that's I'm all updated. I'll go into Logan's run. Yep, all the details are in. I'll click play. I've just turned the volume down in case I get a copyright strike. Just scroll through it. Classic movie Logan's run is. Right, so that's uh, Open Media Vault and uh, Plex all set up for now. So just close that down. That's all working. I go back into films. So, uh, as always, uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.